Hello everybody, welcome to part 59 of Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last part, we had a battle with Bianca, not Sharon, Bianca, and then we got interrupted by Getsis. So now we're going to head to Opelucid City. Yes, that sounds exciting. I know that sounds exciting to me. But first, I'm gonna put Fiendfire first in the party, and I'm gonna give him the Aviolite, just because I feel like giving him the Aviolite, and because he's gonna evolve soon, as I kept saying. But here we have this biker that I guess we're gonna have to battle. Yeah, this is the first biker I think we ever get to battle in the game. Do you wanna pass through here? Then you must greet me! AKA Battle Me. Yeah, that totally was a euphemism for battle, right? Especially coming from a big macho dude and everything. So here's a rock a rock Okay, I guess Fiendfire was not the best Pokemon to use for this. I'm gonna have to switch to somebody else. I don't know who I'm gonna switch to. Let's see. Well, if I had Touch Me Not in the party, I could switch to her, but I do not have Touch Me Not in the party. But I could use Demeter, actually. I'm gonna switch to Demeter. Reason being that she could put Horn Leech to use. I think you saw Demeter use Horn Leech in the battle against Bianca, but I don't think I officially announced it or anything. Uh, it's that Crocorock is using Dig. Hmm. That's not good. I'm just gonna use Aromatherapy for the heck of it. Just because it's the only attack we have that won't do anything. Using Jump Kick would be idiotic right now, because if it misses, then Demeter will just hurt herself. But that didn't even do a lot of damage. But Horn Leech is a really cool attack. It's physical, but it'll actually recover HP that from... It'll also... It'll damage and recover HP just like Goo. Just like Giga Drain. And I think Sawsbuck is the only Pokemon who can learn this attack, so that's really cool. I don't know, I may be wrong about that. Maybe there's some other Pokemon. I don't know if Stadler can learn it too, but I don't know. Especially since Stadler is not Grass-type, I doubt it. But here's a Scraggy I'm gonna switch because Demeter is Normal-type and Scraggy's Fighting-type. So who am I gonna use for this? I'm gonna use Cygnus because Cygnus is Flying-type. I'm just getting tired of all these Scraggies. Especially since I hardly ever use my flying type, my fighting type Pokemon in battle anymore. Those being Bert and Ernie. But I guess there's a reason why I'm not using this. <laughs> I never Scraggy hurting itself but because high jump kick missed. I just love it when those Scraggy do that. <laughs> but I think I lost my trust in Ernie after the battle with Bryson because Ernie just kept hurting himself in his confusion against a battle with his Bayartic. Which is kind of unfortunate. And is this going to be a double battle? I know the last time we encountered two traitors who were next to each other, we were... We were, in, we were in a double battle, but I'm gonna switch to Sickness anyway. Because Monty is second in my party and he knows Earthquake. Yeah, this is gonna be a double battle, which is good, because then I can have Monty use Earthquake and Sickness will not be affected by Earthquake because he's fly type. So this will be really cool. Hooray! Unfortunately, I think I think the surf move that Sickness knows will also will also hit everybody, including Monty. I don't know if that's true or not, but probably will be. Let me had Cygnus attempt to use Earth and see if that's true. Yeah, it will hit Monty, too. Never mind, I'm gonna have him actually use... Fly on one of the Scraggies, I guess. And I'm gonna have Monty use Earthquake! Just because that'll hit everybody except Cygnus. <laughs> and Cygnus will escape battle. <laughs> that's that's Scraggy tried to use High Jump Pick on Monty and I guess it missed. That would have been funny if I tried to use it against Cygnus, but instead he tried to use it against Monty, and I guess it missed. That was really unfortunate. That was really fortunate, but this Hydro Pick hit. And Monty almost fainted. Yeah, that was not cool. But I think if we use Rock Slide now, then. Well, actually, I'm not gonna use Rock Slide. I'm just gonna use Earthquake again. And I think this will KO the other Scraggy. Yeah, it will. Cygnus got to level 39 while in the air. Hooray! <laughs> and those were hooligans? Well, gee, I never saw that traitor class before. I didn't even know they existed in this game, but I'm gonna have to use a healing gun on, Mon on Monty at some point, but I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna put Fiendfire first in the party, and I'm gonna put Starman second in case we get another double battle. But I don't want to battle that traitor over there yet. I'm gonna basically only battle traitors who are in my way. But here's a really cool building right here. This is the Shopping Mall 9. This is basically Unova's department store, so then we get to do a lot of shopping here! Yeah, let's take a break some, for, from some battles and go shopping! Hey, this music sounds familiar. This sounds a lot like the general Pokemon theme that appeared in every game since Ruby and Sapphire, doesn't it? There are even some people in the mall who will challenge you to battles. Oh, really? There are some trainers in this mall? I didn't even know that. Huh, that's not the first time I've ever seen that. Let's see if this one is one of the trainers. Yeah, she is a trainer. Okay! 
What is she, like a waitress or something? She looks kind of like one. It's a waitress! Yeah, I was right. I'm just heading out a Minchino. And I think I used Fiendfire first, which is good, because I think Minchino does mostly normal attacks, which will do nothing to Fiendfire, so this is good. I wonder what would have been more stupid, that Minchino using Charm or that Minchino using a normal attack, because neither one of them is going to really do much. And here's a Lilligant. Well, gee, I'm just going to keep battling because Lilligant is Grass-type. <laughs> yeah, that was, like, pointless, wasn't it? I'm going to use will o -Wisp just in case that Lilligant tries to put me to sleep or something. No, instead it's going to use Mega Drain. Never mind, then. Rise! That Lilligant was desperately defeated because I was smart and was about to use will was before it got the chance to use Teeter Dance and confuse Fiendfire. Yeah, alright Fiendfire, you totally deserve to win that battle. But anyway, let's see what this department over here sells. So here we have potions and potions and more potions. And here's a Poke Toy. Okay, I guess that's used to flee from a wild battle, but I'm not gonna bother with those. Instead, I'm gonna buy a couple more Rex Repels just because I'm out of those. Yeah, that'll be it for now. Let's see what's on this uh, third floor, I guess. What's over here? What's over here? A uh, trainer. Okay. I guess we'll battle another trainer then. Okay, waiter. Well, gee, you remind me of Silent, the first gym leader we had. And here's another Minchino. Well, gee, I think Fiendfire can handle this just as easily as the last Minchino that he encountered, right? Okay, now he's using a weapon, and apparently we tried we tried to use a, a fire attack, but instead of slash fire ability activated, that was not good. But fortunately, Feed Fire does no Shadow Ball, so I think if La provided Lampet doesn't use a different ghost attack, then I think we could use Shadow Ball and have that still work, right? What do you know? Fiendfire actually won and KO'd that Lampet with Shadow Ball. I totally didn't even expect that. Wow, Fiendfire, you're stronger than I've given you credit for. So here's that Minchino game, but I'm gonna keep battling just because I don't think that Minchino is gonna be able to damage Fiendfire. <laughs> I mean, I already tried to earlier. See, as all it's gonna do is use Charm, which won't even do anything. Yeah. I'm just gonna let Fiendfire have this experience because he totally needs more experience. Because he's gonna evolve with the next level up. La 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 la, your charm is not gonna battle because Fiendfire doesn't even know any physical attacks, which is good because he has really low attack power. Attack is the lowest of his stats, even lower than his speed, I think, although that may not be true. Fortunately, he will be a little bit faster once he evolves, so I'm not too worried about that. But Lapint is the Pokemon that Fiendfire is gonna evolve into, so... Yeah, do I know about an item called the Thunderstone? Yes, it is used to evolve Pikachu. Say that Thunderstorm is like certain Pokemon of all then. Nice! Hidi here must be fate! This is for you! Let me guess, a Thunderstone? Yeah! So this is a Pokemon that that Kulum can use to evolve, eventually, because he reaches his, finer, his final form with a Thunderstone. But I don't really use Kulum and battle that much, and here's another trainer, and Fiendfire is still at low HP. That is not good. Well, hopefully if I switch him out on the first turn, then he'll be okay, and she has only one Pokemon anyway, and this is a Stoutland. Yeah, Stoutland doesn't know Pursuit, so this is good. <laughs> Yeah, I think if I just if I just have Feed Fire switch out, and this is good because whoever I switch into will not be affected by the Intimidate ability. But who will I switch to? That is a good question. Hmm. I mean, I could switch to Demeter, but yeah, I will. Well, no, I won't. I don't know who to switch to. Honestly, I'll switch to I'll switch to Chopper, I guess, for lack of anything else to switch to. Bye! 
right, we defeated the traitor. Hooray! Huh, yeah, I'm really gonna have to start using some he healing items on feed fire. Maybe I won't talk to anybody other than the vendors just to avoid more battles. But let's see what this guy has. And it's X items that I don't even use in battle. Let's see what this guy has. Uh, proteins and irons and everything else that I don't usually use that much either, but they are expensive anyway. Let's see what this person sells. So, here we have a bunch of different Pokeballs. Like, every kind of Pokeball we can think of. But I'm not gonna buy any of those yet. I might buy a few of these prior to catching the legendary Pokemon that are in here, but... Let's see what this guy has to sell. The technical machine department. Let's see what TMs we have. TMs for Hyper Beam and Giga Impact, neither of which I think I'm gonna find useful. Those are basically really powerful, normal attacks, Hyper Beam being special and Giga Impact being physical, and you have to recharge on the next turn, so they, so the Pokémon cannot really do anything after attacking, and they have 150 base damage, which makes them powerful, but I don't think they're worth it for any of my Pokémon. But this room right here is pretty interesting. So, we have a bunch of boxes that are apparently full of electronics. So the cool thing is, if we get, if you get a Rotom in this game, Rotom being the machine Pokemon that you catch in Diamond and Pearl in the old Chateau. And if you bring it here, you can actually change its form here with all the electronics inside boxes. But here we have an item and it's a PP up. Well, gee, nothing too special. But like I said, I could probably use this to increase the PP of Starbound's Focus Blast, but I won't do that just yet. Instead, I'm gonna get the heck out of here and I'm gonna head right to- I'm gonna head straight to Opelousa City without another word. And we get to avoid the biker. Good, I wanted to avoid the biker, and yay, we have no more trainers we have to encounter on Route 9. There is grass over there, but there aren't really any new Pokemon in it. And the only Pokemon that are really going to be important in that route are... There are Duosians, Duosian being the evolved form of Solosis. There are Garboders, there are Lipards, and all those other things, so nothing too important. And here's Alder and Team Plasma Breaths. Hello, Minerva, this way! And uh, Gatsis is trying to brainwash some more stupid people. What a liar! Desperately trying to con everybody with his speech. Talking to Alder? I guess? I guess? That's correct! Our Lord N has combined his power with the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero to Yanova, of the Yanova, founder of this region, blah blah blah. I'm not even talking right because my morals are all screwed up. Pokémon are different from people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential, yet they cannot even say anything other than their names. Yeah, that is really stupid. I don't know why I'm even trying to convince these people of these things. They are living beings from whom we have humans have much to learn, and look, there's Iris far, far to the right of the crowd there. Hi, Iris! <laughs> there are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Yeah, I gotta stare at Iris rather than listen to all the gets this baloney. <laughs> Yeah, gets us baloney, baloney, baloney. I want to eat you on a sandwich, and I to and I totally had a baloney sandwich for lunch today, so that's re that's really appropriate. Oh my gosh, I ate gets us a speech for lunch. Oh my gosh, and so I end my plate. I mean my plea to you today. Check, thank you, one and all, for your attention. Uh, yeah, Team Plasma Grunts, let's put away our hypnotizing banners and uh. Oh, yeah, I'm out of line. I'll follow Getsis. I'll follow Getsis and Shane. I don't even know why I'm in this team anyway. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? No, 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 don't listen to that idiot, you idiot. You idiots. Look at this, listen to these idiots. What, they're starting to believe Getsis? What idiot in their right mind would believe Getsis? But anyway, this is Opelucid City. It's a really rustic looking city. Now, the cool thing about Opelucid City is that it looks different depending on whether you're playing Pokemon Black or Pokemon White. In Pokemon Black, this city looks much more futuristic and all electronic and all. But in Pokemon White, it has this really kind of rustic look to it and. It's a pretty cool look. I kind of like its look in black better, but whatever. This is a pretty nice look anyway. What was that speech about? That speech was off the charts strange. Yeah, you're completely right, Iris. <laughs> the cooperation of people and Pokemon is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capturing a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you captured its heart. Yeah, totally right, because they have because each Pokemon has attained this value. And actually, a but although it is a mystery, while well, most Pokemon still obey you unless they're unless you obtain them in trays and don't have enough badges or something. <laughs> Let's go, Minerva! And that totally makes sense if you're playing Pokemon Colosseum or Pokemon XD, the ones where you have shadow Pokemon. Because there you capture Pokemon that belong to other trainers and you do have to win their and you do have to heal their hearts. <laughs> it's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, that's the old guy's name. I was wondering, who's the old guy? We never saw him before. So that's Drayden, eh? Hmm. Is he, like, Iris' father or something? 
Oh, Mr. Aldo! I'm the girl who helped me out that time. What's wrong? Why does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, because you two are Dragon experts, right? 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 Are you talking about Reshiram or Zekrom? Iris, where have you been all this time? Did you not see N flying on Reshiram earlier? Okay, I'm kidding. She probably didn't see it anyway because she was occupied with gym leader stuff, right? I think Iris is- I think I mentioned earlier is good- it was a gym leader when she used Dragon-type Pokemon, and she actually is the gym leader of this city. Who would have thought a girl like Iris could be a gym leader, eh? Right? <laughs> What's that girl? What's a sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsis was here. He said a trainer named Ed has awakened Reshiram. Yes! That trainer called Ed apparently told Minerva here to search for the other Dragon-type Pokemon, especially since she has the Dark Stone. Let me check that I have this straight. This N, or what have you, presumes that these to set the two Dragon-type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions? Won't that, like, cause mass destruction to cause Unova? Oh no! The Dragon-type Pokemon get along so well! That's right, Iris. The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers. And it's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. So, what if Reshiram and Zekrom end up battling each other? That will totally be against their wills, right? I'm going to the Pokemon League. No, I guess in this stage I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League, because I'm the champion and all. Of course I'll defeat N, because apparently N has for some reason taken place of the champion in place of Alder. Yeah, this is precisely why I said that Alder was not really the champion of Unova earlier, because apparently he's retired and N has taken his place or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and traders live together in harmony. Yeah, you're the you're the champion. You should be able to defeat him, right? Also, Minerva, I'll await your arrival. Once you've obtained the Opalucid badge, come to the league. The Opalucid gym leader is tough. Take care. Yeah, the Opalucid gym leader is standing right next to me. Farewell. I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. Yeah, so I guess right now Alder's gonna go to the Pokemon League and challenge N to a Pokemon battle, and if he wins, then he'll be reinstated as champion, and we get to defeat him after beating the Elite Four as usual, and then hooray, we get to win the Pokemon League and win this game to to and win this game for good. Yeah, we're almost done with this game. I guess I don't know if I'll be able to finish this game by the time Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 come out, because that's only six days away, but <laughs> I'll I'll try to do whatever I can, I guess. Aw, he's gone. I liked him and his orange hair and everything. Is he okay? He looks kind of scary. Don't worry, Iris. He's the strongest traitor in all of Unova, provided N doesn't catch up to him. Well, Minerva is it? Come to my home. As Alder asked, I'll teach you everything I can about the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon, so he does know something. Oh gee, I thought he was clueless about them or something. You bet! If it's all the city, I can take you anywhere! As for the story of Reshiram and Zekrom, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you all we know about it. This way! And we don't even get the follow me music, that's interesting. And look at this musician right here. I don't know what kind of instrument she's playing specifically, but... There's a musician right next to the Pokemon Center, and I believe in Pokemon Black, the, there's this guy who will actually play a different instrument. So that's kind of exciting. One other reason of the different, one other one of the differences between Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> that way! Okay, I guess we're supposed to follow her or something? Yeah, we don't even get to follow her directly. Just a little farther! Follow Iris, follow the gym leader. Not just follow the leader, follow the gym leader. So I guess this is their house or something. <laughs> and their houses also look different on the inside too. They look all futuristic and black, but they have fancy marble walls and white. Yay. I'll explain. What you are holding is the Dark Stone. Zekrom, who will, who will likely awaken from the Dark Stone, and Reshiram, who was already awake, were once the same Pokemon. Really? That single dragon Pokemon, along with twin heroes, brought a new region into being. And people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon-type Pokemon that had been with him all that time the split his body into two. One sided with the older brother, and the other with the younger brother. Which one sided with which? That might be important here, because it might decide which one, which one of us triumphs, right? Actually, that's probably not gonna matter. Although, how would I know, because I never even had any siblings. I'm an only child. In pursuit of its truth, the white dragon-type Pokémon sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Reshiram. And the other, the black dragon-type Pokémon, sought ideals and to usher in a new world, a world of hope. So that case, Zekrom was sought after by the younger brother. Yeah, gee, I was right. I am screwed. No, I'm just kidding. His name was Zekrom. Because the two of them were once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes became that there was no one side that was right and seized the conflict. Yeah, wise brothers. 
Fun, fun, fun! The two heroes' sons started the battle again! Because they're brothers, and brothers always fight, right? And an instant later, Brusheron and Zekrom destroyed Unova with fire and lightning! Then they disappeared! But, but, if people work with Pokémon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Brusheron and Zekrom worked hard for everyone and made a new region, so it should be alright, I think. But what happens if they battle again? Won't that destroy Unova? True, Pokémon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokémon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, people and Pokémon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together, unless they're with Team Plasma. Yeah! So I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokémon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. We're just venting our anger against Team Plasma, right? That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokémon. Figures. I, I, guess they, I guess they didn't know after all. I made a promise to Walder. He must win the gym badge from the Opelucid City Pokémon Gym. Iris, you go and be Minerva's opponent at the Pokémon Gym. Yay! Oh, I totally predicted what she would say. Look out! I'm really, really strong, just like Drayden. And the other cool thing about the differences between Pokémon Black and White is that in, if I were playing Black right now, it would actually be Drayden that I would have to battle rather than Iris. So it's like we get different gym leaders. And the cool thing about this is that if you've ever watched the Pokémon anime, the latest, the latest season of the Pokémon anime, the, po the trainers that Ash travels with are Silent and Iris. So by by playing Pokémon White and choosing Oshawott as a starter, you actually get to battle both of those party members, and that's really cool. Look out! Yeah, I already mentioned I was saying that, and we're at 22 minutes already, so... Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop the video right now, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokémon White, we will explore more around Opelucid City, and see if we can find anything else interesting, so I'll see you in a bit. Uh, stay tuned.